What's up team? Welcome back. It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero. I tried to record this video two other times prior to this and the batteries kept dying. So hopefully this battery looks like it's good. We should make it all the way through this. But anyway, this is video number two in a three part series on how to price your products and services and my advice. For, so, so if you haven't watched the last video, go back and watch it. But I'll give you a quick recap right here, right now. Get price out of your head. Price does not matter. Price does not, what you charge does not matter. We think this because we're programmed to think this does not matter. If we deliver enough value, the cost is irrelevant. If somebody's, if somebody can make $10,000 off of a service that we provide and we want to charge $5,000 for it, it's a no brainer. Give us five grand, you'll get 10 grand back. But we have to be able to build the value. The problem is, is that nobody knows how to build value. There is no school. There is no class in school that we, that, that people take on sales. Like I don't remember seeing a sales one-on-one. And here's the deal. The way the education system works and the way it has been working, the chance of you being taught this course by someone who has any experience selling or, 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 or is even interested in the concept behind what it takes to sell products and services successfully you probably won't get that instructor you're going to get somebody they'll 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 be able to tell you stuff from a book but they won't be able to give you in-depth knowledge because they don't they don't think about this stuff introspectively like they, it's not how do i put it man they do not have the level of interest required to really understand the sales process and why every business needs to have every not even every bit every individual needs to have some sort of sales process we're all selling and we don't even know it but when you when you open your eyes to this fact anything is possible anything is possible right it may it may take you some time it may take you it may take you a month it may take you a year it may take you five years right but when you get there you will be there and you will be unstoppable right the, the, you will never have to worry about anything ever again, right? You don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about, about, about anything, right? So anyway, so let's get into this. Number one, we do not, we do not need to worry about price. We need to worry about value. How much value can we bring? And what is this value worth to the person we're trying to bring it to? So in the last video, right, we talked about, right, how to, how to get the appointment, right? So we go, so we went into a restaurant and we sat down. We had a meal and then we say, hey, can I talk to the manager? The manager comes over and say, hey, you know, look, right, this is what I do. I noticed your website is like this. I believe you can be getting a lot more customers. Is there, you know, a time and place that we can sit down and talk some more? If they say no, you say, okay, all right, cool. No problem. I appreciate it. And you never eat there again, right? Just don't even, you know, um, well, you can eat there if you want, but I, I probably wouldn't. Um, but, or they may, they say, yeah, sure. You know, come sit down. You know, we'll, we'll you know, let's, let's hear what you, let's hear what you got to say, right? Um, and then now you've got the meeting and then when you go in to sit down right and this is where a lot of people make a, make the mistake i made this mistake i would go into a place and i would be it would be like i got a pitch right now right no you don't want to do that right you it, hey like is there a time that we can talk like you know where we can devote like you know 10 15 20 minutes to this thing right um and i can get an understanding of whether or not i can even help you right or or, or whether or not you even really if if if, if you were even considering uh you know, upgrading this thing or changing your website or whatever, right? Um, if they go, yeah, sure, like we can meet, then that tells you that they, they have an open mind to this. But we don't want to trick people into stuff we, we, because the outcome isn't going to be what we want. And we also do not want to put ourselves in a situation where, where the, the potential client or customer has all the control. So anyway, so we've got this meeting and we go in and we go to this meeting. When we get there, we want to ask questions. We never, there is a place and a time for us to tell them what we do and, and possibly how we do it. But in the beginning, we don't need to, they don't need to know any of this stuff. We need to know about them. We need to know if they qualify for whatever it is we're selling. Now, this is different when, we, when we're selling a product, like a physical product, like hair care products or hair brushes or something like that. And, and we'll talk about that uh, and it probably a different video some other time, but here we're going to stick to products and services. So like you're a web developer or a freelancer and you're selling websites or whatever. Right. So anyway, you're sitting down with the client. Right. And it's going to be, you know, 
the, possibly the first question we can ask is, you know, why did you agree to meet with me here today? And they got to answer that, right? And, they, and they, they can't give you a yes or no answer. They can't. Why did you agree to meet with me here today? Yes. They can't say yes. They can't say no. They have to tell you why they agreed. Well, I agreed to meet with you here today because um, my website looks like crap. And you can say, well, why do you believe that? Why do you say that? Why do you? Uh, and they said, well, you know, because of this, because of that, because. Of, and you're taking notes the whole time, just writing this shit down. Right. They, they believe their website is like this, like this, like this. And say, well, well, you haven't fixed it. So, like, is there why have you left it like this? And they'll go like, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. I don't have the whatever. Right. And if they say, for instance, they say, well, I don't have the I don't have the money to fix it. You say that's understandable. You know, I found that a lot of businesses believe that they don't. I believe I I I have I have there 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 is there's like a three phrase process i'm trying to think of right now but anyway right so right on the fly you can say all right i found that a lot of businesses believe that that they can't afford it but often uh we realize that it it doesn't cost as much as they think um if if it wasn't expensive as you believe do you think you would you would invest in upgrading your website and they may go if they go no then you just say, well, you know, there's really no reason for us to talk anymore, right? I want to help you, but if you're not open to it, then, um, you know, I, I don't want to waste your time. I, 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 your time is very valuable. You got a business to run. And if I can't help you, then, um, then I, I can't help you. Your food's great. Your restaurant's great. I really love it. I want to see you get more business. I want to see you grow. But, um, but if you're not open to, to, to growing your business, at least it, 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 in any kind of way at all, then, um, then you know it was nice to meet you and then you go on right you don't waste your time right and, and some people are like yo you go out here you could sell water to 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 an eskimo ice to an eskimo and like all this crazy to do man you don't want to be trying to sell stuff to people who aren't interested because if they buy it at some point they're just going to be a pain in your ass they're always going to be worried about what you're doing and how you're doing it and this that and the third they aren't and dude, it's going to be like having a boss and that's not why you want to start your own business in the first place now, if they go, well, yeah, you know, like I've been thinking about this really hard and, and you know, I really want to do it. But I, I mean, you know, and then you can ask, well, have you talked to anybody in the past? What kind of questions did they ask you? What kind of questions did you ask them? And they say, well, no, I've never talked to anybody. I don't know. And so, well, you say, well, how do you know it's going to be too expensive? And they go, well, I went online and I looked around and I saw what these people were charging. Right. And I, I guarantee you that the people that they ran into before on the Internet and, uh, and they saw what they were charging. These people did not have things set up correctly. I have a whole I have a whole series on this, right? If you do things the way I say, they will work more often than not. And I mean like when I say more often, we're talking they they will work better than all of this other nonsense that people did that, that you see out here. But anyway, but anyway, so now you know, right? Okay, so they went to the well what 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 place did you check out? Um and it's okay if you don't know them off the top of your head, but do you, can you recall any of oh, I don't know, you know. Um, well, I looked at this place, I this place. You're just taking notes, right? You say, okay, well, well, let me ask you this, right? What, what were they claiming to do for your business? Like, you know, they, they, hold on, hold on. What would you like to see happen? Like, what's your idea scenario? Right? And then they got to tell you, like, it's an open-ended question, right? Well, you know. I, th I think that I should be getting, you know, I, uh, at least another five to ten customers a week from, you know, from my website. Um, and I think that's possible. I think that's something I could do. Right. And then you're like, OK, but, well, where do you get that number from? Why do you think five to ten? Right. And you're just asking questions. So, right. I think I've covered enough questions for you guys to understand what it is I'm talking about. And the next video will come back and we'll go a little more into that that question process. But we're going to get into the part where we're getting yeses and yes and yes and yes. And we're working our way towards the close and we're working our way towards a price. Now, this is the, this next video is going to be the most powerful video in the world because it, it, it should for the people who are really thinking, for the people who are serious, it's going to expand your mind. It's going to blow your mind. Right. It may blow your head clean off your shoulders. OK, team. All right. I'm your biggest fan. The real Casadero. That is it for this one. In the next video in this series, we're going to come back and we're going to close this thing out. And, and you're going to have some knowledge you can go out and use and you can do, do it to grow any kind of business whatsoever.